Gwyneth and I are now going to show you how to do the edging for the Claude de Crochet cowl and we start with round one using a 2.5 millimeter hook that you've used throughout the cowl and you join yarn A which is stone to a five chain loop in the center of one motif and you work one chain like so. Um, you then work one DC into the same five chain loop and work five chain miss five DC's and treble into the next DC. It's actually the first DC after the um, loop with the five trebles from the last round of your motif. Work another five chain miss four DC's so it's actually the DC before the pico loop on your in the corner of your motif so a treble into that five chain You miss the two five chain joined corner loops like so and do a treble into the next DC which is the very first DC of the next motif. Five chain. Miss four DCs and work a treble into the next DC. miss five DC's oh sorry work five chain before that miss then miss five DC's and then work one DC into the middle five chain loop of the motif and then that's one repeat complete and you carry on round the whole cowl as such and we shall go on to show you round two right round two is using the same colour so it's yarn A and we do one chain and one DC into the same DC as the slip stitch at the end of the previous round and then we're going to work four DC's into the next five chain space one DC into the next treble and you carry on working round the cowl in this way so every five chain space you're going to work four DC's and every treble you're going to work a DC and every DC you're going to work a DC um, so you go round the whole cowl like that and then you end the round uh, with a slip stitch to the very first DC which will now carry on with round three Right, round three, um, you need to break off your yarn from your previous round and join in yarn F, which is ancient. And we join in your yarn and then you do one chain, followed by one DC into the same DC as the slip stitch at the end of the previous round. Then we're going to work five chain. and miss three DC's and DC into the next DC five chain miss three DC's one DC into the next DC and you work that's the repeat so you carry on around the cowl working five chain missing three DC's and DC's in, into the next DC all the way around the cowl and finish by working a slip stitch to the first DC and we'll now 
show you round four. Right, we're now ready to show you round four, which is the last round of the edging. Um, you need to break off the yarn from the previous round and join in yarn B, which is barn red. We now work one chain, followed by one DC into the same DC as the slip stitch at the end of the previous round, and then work seven chain. Then work one DC into the next DC. Seven chain. One DC into the next DC. And you carry on again round the cowl in, in this way working seven chain and one DC into the next DC and then you finish with a slip stitch to the first DC and then you fasten off and then that's your edging complete you can now see that the edging is quite simple um, nothing to worry about it's just chain stitches and DC's um, and then you need to then sew in any loose ends um, that you've got at the we're on the wrong side of the cowl and then press the cowl gently on the wrong side using a warm steam iron over a damp cloth. And then you need to repeat that edging for the other side of the cowl. Uh, I hope you enjoy making the Cloder Crochet Cowl. Um, it really is a nice uh, project to do and hopefully it will inspire you to go on and try other motifs and expand your crochet skills further.